Welcome to the first grade computer lab class. This year will be a little different. I am very excited for you to learn a very special new language with me. It is called code. This is the language that programmers use to speak with computers and things like robots. You will have so much fun learning to code. Let's get started. To find today's lesson, you will go to code.org. That is C-O-D-E dot O-R-G, code dot org. All right, let's get started. I'm excited. Go to your browser and type in code dot org. Once you are here, you will see in the top right hand corner, sign in. I will click the sign in button. Then I will type in the six letter section code for first grade. In first grade, our code is W K V W C D. Then I will click go. Do you see your name? There are so many names. Hmm. My name is Buzz. Buzz Lightyear. Hmm. My teacher gave me a secret picture that I must click. My picture is the three-eyed alien. I will click sign in. Once I am in, you will see many, many, many lessons. Don't worry, you don't need to complete them all today. These will take many weeks to complete. As I scroll down, I can see that there are several lessons. Hmm. At the bottom, there is a symbol that shows me if it is a diamond, it is a concept. This means there might be something to read, there might be a video to watch, or a map to help me out. When I am working, it is highlighted green. When I am done, it is solid green. An activity is a circle. This is something that I must do like a puzzle. If I complete it but use too many blocks, it will be light green. If I complete it and it is solid green, that means I got it correct. This first lesson says unplugged activity. That means you do not need a computer to do it. You are welcome to do this at home, but since we are not together, it might be a little difficult. We are going to start instead with lesson three, sequencing with Angry Birds. When I click, there is a video to watch. Hmm. This video, when I click play, will walk me through what programming is with something called block coding. We are not going to watch this entire video together, but this lady explains what computer science is and how the blocks click together just like Lego pieces. When we run our program, we are actually coding underneath of these little blocks. Our goal is to get our game player to the right location. We have a play area. We have a toolbox with our blocks. And we have a workspace. This is where we put our plan together. When I am in my account, I will see that this looks like a video game. At the top, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven levels to complete. The first is done because we watched the video. This is my work, this is my play space. I must get the angry bird to the pig. Hmm. These are my instructions. When I click on the play button, it will read out loud to me. To get the bird to the pig, snap the E block to the bottom of the when run block, then press run. Now, if I do not speak English well or need parent help, 
I can change the language. I click the little book. Choose a language. Hmm. Yo hablo español. Hmm. Hmm. Spanish. Then I change the entire document to read in Spanish. The play button is at the bottom of the screen. I will click the back arrow to get back to my puzzle. The bottom is my workspace. It tells me I will need one out of two blocks. So, I will drag the E block to do when run. Then, I will click the run button. Ah, congratulations, you completed puzzle two. And you wrote your first line of code. If you click show code, it shows you the line of code that you wrote. If you like the puzzle, click the heart. Okay, here we go, level three. Hmm. I must get the bird to the pig. Think about what you might do. Let's look at the directions. Attach both east blocks to the when run block to finish your code. Remember, you can press the play button to hear the directions read to you. Click play. Oh, good job! You completed puzzle three and you now have three lines of code that you have written. Go ahead and click continue. This is level four. Ooh, this one is a little harder. I am going to add a new direction. So, my bird needs to get to the pig. How do I get there? Hmm. Over, over, up. East, east, north. Run your program. All right, good job. You wrote three more lines of code. This means you've written six lines of code. Go ahead and click continue. For level five. Oh no, the bird is coming from a new direction. He is at the top and must get to the pig. Be sure to listen to the directions. Hmm, there's an extra south block at the end of this code. Here we go. Hmm, south, west, west. Uh-oh, I still had one block left. It says I could have completed the puzzle in only four blocks. I am going to try again to see if I can get it right. Hmm, I used five. I want to use four blocks. Let's see. Take rid of the extra south, throw it back in the toolbox, and run my program. Oh, good job. You completed puzzle five with the right number of lines of code. Okay, here we go. Level six, it's getting harder. You must get the bird to the pig. Think about what you will do. I will go, hmm, forward, forward, down. Uh-oh, I made a mistake. I went up, ugh. It says keep coding, something keep is coding. not quite right. Not quite right yet. I will start over. And reset my program. And I will try again. Over, over, down. East, east, south. All right, this time I got it. Click continue to move on. Ooh, this one. Try this one all by myself. Okay, I am ready. How do I get the pig to the bird? Oh no! 
That's okay. Let's try again. I will click start over. Reset my program. And let's try this again. West. West. Now let's try. Great job! Congratulations, you passed the puzzle by yourself. Go ahead and click continue. Here you will see that you have completed lesson three. Now you may try a challenge, but there aren't any for this lesson. Lesson. If you are done learning for the day, you may log out. If you still want to learn more and you are having fun, click go on to lesson four. When you are done, sign out of your account so no one else can come in and work